Hi, this is Brian Payton Joyner, and I have been waiting all year to do this particular video. Why? Because it's pumpkin season. And you go to the grocery store and you can find pumpkin everything. Here's a few of the things that I find I'm going to share with you today. We have pumpkin snacks. We're going to look at a quick pumpkin appetizer. I'm going to show you how to do a first course dish that you can do easily at home. The main cooking part, I'm going to do a pumpkin ravioli with a pumpkin sauce. And then finally we'll even talk about pumpkin dessert. So it's going to be a fantastic show today because it's all about pumpkin. Now the first thing we're going to start off with are some snacks. And some of the things that I picked up are like these uh, planners limited edition. And one of the things about pumpkin is it's always limited edition. So if you see something pumpkin, you better grab it immediately. These are nice almonds. Good for you, not too much sugar that I taste. So we're only talking about maybe five grams of sugar. Very good flavor, pumpkin flavor, not overwhelming. These are really nice things just if you wanna have a little snack. Almonds are really fantastic. These Kind Bars, these again have five grams of sugar. Really easy to go, about 150 calories. Again, more pumpkin, so these are just a couple snack ideas that you have. New thing that I discovered this week even pump, putting pumpkin in tortilla chips. And that's the first quick little recipe thing we're gonna try today. It's gonna be pumpkin with, can you believe it, pumpkin salsa. So the first thing we're gonna do is just have something very simple. We're gonna try this salsa. Now this salsa is, like I said, it has pumpkin in it. It also has tomatoes. And so it's made like sort of a traditional salsa. You can see it's uh, pretty chunky. So they have a little bit of pumpkin puree and a little bit of the pumpkin seed in them. So we're going to try this pumpkin, these pumpkin chips. Like I said, it's mainly corn flour, but they do have a little bit of pumpkin puree and things in them with this pumpkin salsa. Mm. Okay, the first thing that hits me is this salsa has a really nice acidity. And I get on the back palate. A little bit of that sort of smoky fall flavors that you'd want. It's a little bit spicy too, which is nice. And then I think that the pumpkin spice comes through in the chips. So this is kind of a reimagination of chips and salsa, but it's something that's perfect for fall. Mm. The other thing that we're gonna try is we're gonna try, we're gonna make a little pumpkin spread. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little bit of plain goat cheese and when I first tried this salsa, I noticed that it wasn't quite as acidic as like a normal salsa because the pumpkin's the first ingredient, pumpkin's not that acidic, then it really sort of cuts like what would normally be more acidic from like a tomato salsa. And it doesn't really have any vinegar in it. So the thing we're gonna do is just take this little log of goat cheese here, very simple, and we're just gonna put it in a little ramekin as such. And then I'm just going to take this pumpkin salsa and I'm just going to put it on there like that. So again, super easy. We have a goat cheese and pumpkin spread that we're going to try with some of these pumpkin triscuits. Now, you want to uh, be careful when you're dealing with crackers. Like for instance, I have a father-in-law who's allergic to MSG and a lot of other things. and. Always check the ingredients when you're reading, looking at crackers because you never know, quite honestly, what may be in there. Uh, I check these as just flour and things that, you know, he's not going to be allergic to. Let's have a little knife. I'm going to try this little bit of goat cheese and pumpkin salsa on a pumpkin triscuit. That's very interesting. And that's not the best word to use when you're talking about cooking normally. I think what happened there is that the goat cheese, when well, goat cheese has a sour note to it, and I think I, when I first tasted this on its own, I thought it was a little less acidic than it actually was. And I sort of noticed that, you know, when I had the tortilla. So I could have gone with cream cheese, which probably wouldn't have been a better choice, because it's not quite as acidic as the goat cheese. But, I might be able to salvage this because that's one of the things that I am 
known for is being able to take something that maybe the flavor profile is not exactly right and I can fix it. So let's see if that's something I can do. So I have, what I wanted from that was I wanted something that was a little sweet. So I'm gonna take this pumpkin seed brittle, again, something I got at Trader Joe's, and tonight when we have my uh, father-in-law and mother-in-law over for dinner, we're gonna just chop a little of this up and serve it over some vanilla ice cream. Super easy, perfect dessert. But for now, I'm just gonna sort of chop it up a little bit, and I'm gonna tr see what happens if I put this sweet, you know, thing with the pumpkin seeds, if I try putting this on the goat cheese, if that's something that can sort of change the flavor profile of this particular sort of snack and see if it's better. But first of all, I will try this Triscuit. So now that we have something a little bit sweeter here, I'm going to put this on the cracker, a little bit maybe more of that pumpkin. Wow. Now that time, because I'd added that sweetness and you have the crunchiness from that brittle, that's actually really good. Because one of the things that is, I always believe every dish should have, that I'll have a little something sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. And then it's also nice if you can add one of the, the fifth flavor that we weren't taught in school, but something that the Japanese discovered, which is umami. It's found in like mushrooms, truffles, Parmesan cheese and things. I think it's something that is an experiment, had a little misstep, but I fixed it. And this is something that you can put out for friends and they'll very much enjoy it because it's got a, a, an interesting flavor, but now it's interesting in a good way. So it's nice to have fixed that. So we've looked at some snacks. We have the kind bars, we have the nuts. We've looked at sort of appetizers that you might serve where you can make this delicious goat cheese and pumpkin salsa spread for crackers. We looked at having some tortilla chips with some salsa. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what would be a good first course that you might serve at a dinner. I picked up this little package of pumpkin soup and I am, I make phenomenal soups from scratch. The problem is, and I just have no concept of starting level of ingredients with finishing level of ingredients. Because if I were to start out trying to make pumpkin soup, I'd probably start with this mound of things and I'd end up with like maybe enough to fill this and that would be like for four people. So I've sort of given up trying to actually make soups from scratch on a regular basis and you can just buy something like this and you know, if you look at the serving size, this is two serving sizes. Seems a little small, so I might have picked up another one, but we're, I'm actually gonna use this for sauce. But if you start with like a soup base like this, the key is gonna be to garnish it with something that's gonna be interesting. Now imagine the soup is gonna be creamy, it's gonna have a little bit of sweetness. So go back to my taste I was talking about, sweet, sour, salted, bitter, or mommy. You might wanna throw in some creme fraiche, which is sort of like sour cream, but not quite as acidic. You could even try it with a little bit of the finely chopped pumpkin seed brittle. You could put some toasted hazelnuts on it for, uh, you could put some chives. So just really fascinating uh, different types of garnishes that you might come up with if you were just gonna take this box of soup and just really elevate it to the next level. So now we have talked about snacks, appetizers, first course, we are on to the main course.